gonna go get the car, so I only have a couple of minutes here, so. Well, we heard Ms. Chef Draconis' name today, finally. Yes, finally. We've never disputed the fact that Michelle was in that vehicle and that she told the police they didn't know for sure until she told them and she said, yeah, that's um, Otis Dulles driving, so. Um, and, you know, the bottom line is, um, you know, these are things that Fotis Dulos did. He's not here to uh, explain himself, and I don't think anybody is going to be able to explain what he was up to, but that's where we're at right now. So. Can you, it's been nine days of testimony so far. Can you sum up? It seems only like um, <laughs> Sum up. Now we're going to get to, uh, I don't, uh, tomorrow we're going to be getting into the items that were found in uh, the trash receptacles on Albany Avenue. So they're going to go into that. Um, Can you sum up the prosecution's case so far? Oh, I'm not going to do that because I'm not sure what the case is. Um, there is certainly evidence that, um, and I'll I've said this before, that Otis Dulles was up to something. He clearly was involved to some extent, whether it's the theory that the uh, police claim, as they've sort of set out in a narrative, is, is not necessarily what's going to be proven. But, you know, the bottom line is I've yet to see anything that suggests that Michelle Traconis knew anything about what he was up to or even what he thought. You know, the evidence, if you remember from the from the uh, babysitter, was that he could turn on a dime, right? He was really, really nice and smiling one second, and like a, you know, flash, he would be angry and yelling and accusatory. So, you know, that's basically where we're at, and we'll see. But you know, it looks I, like the woman that, uh, allegedly, the woman that's in the vehicle, looks like she's the one who's dropping that FedEx envelope into the storm drain. Well, if you watch that, so you weren't there, and you, True. Know, you were kicked out so um, for being naughty. But, um, no, the evidence is absolutely clear that um, it was Fotis Doulos that dropped the um, envelope down, the FedEx envelope down, and, and he had it in his hand. He dropped it down. Um, the evidence also is absolutely clear that when asked what she did as it, as it happened, she said she'd been chewing gum, it got stuck on her hand, and if you watch the video as opposed to the free, the frozen screenshot, you can just wipe her hand, she gets back in, and that's when Dulos walks over, drops something down the sewer. But, you know, there's no fingerprints of hers on anything or DNA on the bag or anything like that, so 